everyone, this is Hal, Quail Studios Guitar. I'm going to check my stream health, see if we're good. Okay, today we're going to talk about learning notes on the fretboard. I put my acoustic guitar on the wall there, and we're going to get my electric guitar out so I can have all this fretboard to work with. And you can do it on acoustic guitar, you can do it on an electric guitar, it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> Hello, Lee James. Good to see you. Glad to hear you here. Okay, now let's talk about this song. It's called um, uh, Knocking on Heaven's Door. You know, I was, I got a, let's start over. <laughs> I got a comment from one of my listeners the other day, and he had a question about Knocking on Heaven's Door in one of the videos that I did about that. And I was looking at it, and I was thinking, maybe I should redo Knocking on Heaven's Door because my format has changed a little bit since since I did those. Uh, but we're going to talk a little bit about this today and, and the melody and where it is on your guitar. Okay, so the chords are on Knocking on Heaven's Door. G, going to D, going to A minor 7. Let's get the camera down a little bit closer and let me show you. Okay. You know what? I didn't prepare uh, chord boxes for this, but that's okay. <clears throat> when I do the next video on knocking on heaven's door, I'll do that. So here's a G chord. You don't need this finger down if you don't want to. You can, but I like to mute the A string with that finger. Then I go to D chord. <clears throat> then I go to an A minor 7. Looks like that. And then I go to G, 1, 2, D, C. And that's the chord progression. Now, sometimes what I like to do is do a G, D, A minor 7, G, D, C, and then I like to bring that C up two frets like that. And I leave the E string open and the G string open. It's like a D11 or something like that. And then I go back to my G again. Okay, so let's set up a loop here. Okay, I've got a loop going. <clears throat> Maybe you know the song. It goes like this. Mama, take this badge off of me. You've heard it before, right? So the melody goes like this. It starts on a B note. Here, let's stop that for just a second. So it starts on a B note. Mama, take this badge off of me. Now, one thing you can do is you can get your tuner out, and you can figure out the notes on your tuner if you want to. But the B is on the 7th fret E string. Let's start right here. So let's find all the Bs on the guitar. There's one right there on the 7th fret E string. And then if we go 7 frets above 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that's an octave higher. So we got 7, and then up here on, what is this, 15, 17, and 19. I just think of it as 7 frets above 12, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's the dot right up there. It's the third dot above 12. Okay, so here we are. Let's find the Bs on the B string. We've got an open B right there, and you got the 12th fret B. Okay. Let's see, the B here would be 4th fret on the G string, 4th fret, and then 4 frets above 12. We're finding this note because it's the first note in the melody. Okay, where's a B here? 9th fret. D string, and you can go up here, all the way up here, if you want to. The B down here is 2nd fret on the A string, or 2 frets above 12, 12 frets higher. And then you have a B here on the 7th fret again, just like the E string. They're the same, and then also on 7 frets above 12. Right? Now the reason we want to know this is that it goes, Mama, let's see, let's do it in my range. Mama, take this badge off of me. Right there. 
So it goes the B note. I'm going to do it on the D string because it's right in the middle here. So the B is on the ninth fret. The next note in the melody is two frets down. Take this badge off of, and then the next note, note in the melody is two frets down again. So ninth fret, seventh fret, fifth fret. Mama, take this badge off of, and then back to the seventh fret. Me, and then it goes back up to the ninth, ninth fret again. I can't use it anymore. Sorry, <laughs> it goes down to the E on the second fret. More, down three frets. I was gonna go more, which sometimes when people sing it, they sing it like that. Fifth fret, open two. Let's name these notes. This is B, and then A, G, A. So B, A, G, A. Mama, take this badge off of me. I can't use it anymore. Now, Bob Dylan, when he sings it, it sounds like he goes from more, from the G, down three frets to the E. More. And then the next line is, uh, it's getting dark, too dark to see. Feel like I'm knocking on heaven's door. And guess what? The chorus is exactly the same. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. And that, that's the whole melody. Now you could say, this is a boring melody. You could say that. Or you could say, this is a repetitive melody, right? And it is, it is. Let me get that a little bit closer. Let's see if it'll help. Here we go. Okay. Mama, take this badge off of me. I can't use it anymore. So let's play that, um, that loop and play the melody with it, okay? Here we go. Let me turn that up a little bit. So we're up here on the ninth fret. Just using a finger here. See that? So these are the notes. B, A, G, A. Then we do it again. B, A, G, down to E. around with it a little bit. Okay, so there it is on the D string. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move something off of my screen here so I can see. Okay, let's do it on the E string. I'm gonna start right there. Same thing, when you start on B, wherever it is, seventh fret, down two frets, down three frets. Same thing, B note, B, A, G, A. Do that again. Now let's go up an octave higher, right up here. Do it again. Now let's find it on this string, B right here. Now let's find it on this string. Fourth fret, second fret open. got to go to the second fret on the D string to get that E. Octave higher. Now let's do it on the A string. We haven't done that yet. 
Where is it at? There it is. Okay, let's go up here to this octave right here. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> I think I was messed up. Okay, I'm gonna start right there, second fret and above two, above 12. It's always the same pattern. Down two frets, down two frets, and back. Do it again. You can even do it on the really low string. All right, we start on seven. Sometimes I think Eric Clapton plays it this way. I mean, he sings it, you know. I can't use it anymore. So you go down. Like that. All over the guitar. Here, let's let's put you back up here so you can see my face. There we go. When we move around the neck and we can see all over the guitar where these notes are, right? Right? We we get a feel for it. Let's see, where is it on this one? I always forget. Here it is. We can find out where those B notes are. You know, when you learn your notes on, on the guitar, you don't have to learn all the notes all over the guitar all at once. That's what I'm saying. Take something simple like this and move it around. Now, one thing you can do also, if you don't want to do a clean sound, you could do a distortion sound, right? Here's my loop. I could do a distortion. Let's see, where do I want to do this? I'll do it right here. Here we go, a little distortion. I'm using a bend right there to get up to that note. Now not. distortion now. And you can mess around with it and go anywhere you want. by doing something simple like this. And there we go. All right. Have a good day. Thank you, James, for Lee James, for showing up and for being here and for liking and all of that kind of thing. It's been great to be here. Oh, you know, um, I don't know if I'm going to get called out on this, if they're going to share, uh, what do you call it? Uh, monetization with me or not, but I do have a book. It's called the Quail Studios Music and Lead Sheets book. Let's see if I can find a, a picture of it and put it on screen. And this song is in that book. There we go. That's, oh, let's move that down so you can see it. That's the title. I mean, that's the the front page of it. It's an e-book and you can get it by uh, joining Patreon or uh, Subscribestar or 
going to the link in the description and making a donation at um, PayPal. And I'll put you on my email list. And I'll send you updates. And I'm going to just about ready to send out another update with a couple more songs in the book. It's got over 50 songs in it. It's 260-something pages, I think. It's got some theory in the back. I'm going to probably start separating it out so that it isn't quite so bulky. But all right, we'll talk to you later. You have a good one. Uh, there's one more thing you can do. You could buy some in- earrings from Savvy, and I'll send you my book too. She is at Simple Joy Earrings at Instagram. So you could do that. All right. Just wanted to let you know that's a couple ways to support the channel and to support what I'm doing. Thanks very much. We'll talk to you later. You have a good night now.